In this video, you will learn how to apply to become a certified server seller in the state, how to take the required assessment, and how to view and print your certification. To view the certification and education menu, you may start by selecting the Getting Started link at the top of the web page, or you may select the menu using the drop-down icon shown here. Select the Apply for Certification Action button to initiate a new certification application. The certification page will list the certification categories. Click the drop-down menu icon here to see the certification types under each category. To select the server certification type, click View. At the top of the Certification Overview page, you will see details about the certification including the certification name, the title you will receive once certified, and the term for the certification. Also from this page, you may begin the certification application, read details about the certification, and learn about the required assessment. If a prerequisite course is needed to take the assessment, a check mark will be displayed in the course required column. You can also see a list of certification records under the Certification History section. If desired, click the assessment link to learn more details. You are now ready to begin the certification application process. Click Apply to begin. The certification application will start in a new status. Click Next to advance the certification application wizard. From the profile page, select No and click Next. The My Certification Profile page appears. Fill out the required fields, including first and last name, your date of birth by clicking the calendar icon. From the drop-down, select your preferred contact method and provide your email address. You may choose to also provide a mailing address. Then select your email preferences. Click Next to advance through the wizard. After reviewing the details, click Submit. The new certification application will start in an in-progress status. The page will provide next action steps. You may upload documents by clicking the Upload Documents button. Start the required assessment by clicking View Assessment or review a summary of the new certification. Click the Upload Documents button to upload required documents. On the Documents page, click the plus sign to add your required document or drag and drop your document directly from your PC. Once you have uploaded your document, click the drop-down to select the document type. You may also provide a description for your document. Click Submit when you're done. Now back at the new certification page, click View Assessment. From the assessment page, you will be able to view assessment details, including the attempt limits for the assessment, how many attempts remain and how many days you must wait between attempts. If a prerequisite is not required, you may start the assessment by clicking Start. However, if a prerequisite course is required, an exclamation mark will be displayed on the Prerequisites tab. Click the Prerequisite tab to see a list of approved course options. Now from the Prerequisite tab, you will see a list of available course options. You can see course options that have current course offerings here. Choose your course option by clicking the course link. From the course page, you can read details about the course and see upcoming course offerings. Click on the course offering link to register. Once you complete the prerequisite course successfully, you may start the assessment. The assessment attempt page displays several details, including the assessment name and the attempt record number for tracking purposes. Select your language from the drop-down and click Next. You will now see passing score details, including a list of the assessment sections and the score required to pass a section. You may now begin your assessment attempt. Click Begin to start your attempt. Move through the assessment wizard, answering all questions. Remember, you must click Select to confirm your answer for each question. Click Next to proceed to the next question. For your convenience, you may save your spot in the assessment attempt to resume at a later time by clicking the Save icon. Once your answers have been recorded for all questions, click Complete to finish the assessment attempt. From the Ready to Submit page, you can view your assessment results and view fees. Click Pay Fees to pay the certification fees. You will then be taken to the Nebraska Payment System, where you can enter your payment details. Now that the certification fee has been paid, you can access your receipt under Payment History. Click Submit to finalize your assessment attempt. Your assessment attempt is now complete. Click the Certification Application link here. Click Complete to finalize your new certification application. The certificate will be issued by the Commission. 
Note the status is changed to certified on your application. You may view your certification from the Certification and Education page. Under the Dashboard section, click the Certification link. From the Certification page, click the Download icon to view and print your certification. You have now successfully learned how to become a certified server seller in the state, how to take the required assessment, and how to view and print your certification.